When I was a lad, my dad's cheese and onion pasties were the best. Inspired by him, I'm going to make a cheese, onion and potato pie. And my search for the mature cheddar that the pie needs led to a village in North Yorkshire, where there's more to the cheese than meets the eye. For this recipe, I found a very special cheese indeed. Dale and cheddar tastes great and has a heartwarming story behind it. This is Botton Village, a self-sufficient community of five small farms deep in the North York Moors. It was set up in 1955 to offer adults with special needs and learning disabilities the support they need to enjoy a fulfilling life. They spend their days farming and working, and more importantly, enjoying the fruits of their labour. Well, the people with special needs, they have the opportunity to develop in the working environment, um, and the creamer is a good example of that, and, and reach a high level of skill. And it's very important in Botton that they have that opportunity, and also that the work is for a reason and for a purpose. 280 carers, farmers and residents all live in the valley, most in shared houses as extended families of all ages and abilities. Much of the food that is eaten by the residents has been grown by them too, from fruit and veg, eggs, honey and, of course, milk and butter from the dairy herd. Alistair Pearson helps the residents with cheese production, including the cheddar I want to use in my pie. The cheese we're most proud of is the, um, the dill and cheddar. It's made with raw milk from the Bottom Village farms. It's one of the most successful cheeses we have. It's got a full-bodied taste, and uh, at the moment, the, the present cheddar that we're, we're selling is 20 months old. The cheese-making process starts at the crack of dawn. It's 5.30 a.m., milking time for the cows. Cows ready? Shall we get them? Yeah. Farmer Gilberto and resident David are in charge. Each farm has its own herd. With 12 cows, this is one of the biggest. David's role is to lead the cows to the parlour and help with the milking. Without the team that we have, we couldn't produce what we're doing. I mean, for myself, I certainly enjoy working with the people that we have, supporting the people we have, and seeing the satisfaction that they actually get from what they do. The milk is then taken to Botton's own creamery, where Alistair and his helpers have arrived and are ready to make all sorts of cheeses, including Gouda, Brie, and that all-important cheddar. Morning, Alistair. Come on, Nicole. So, 985 litres this morning. Alistair starts the cheese-making process and work is in full swing all over the farm. The vegetable patch is being cultivated, ready for next year's crops. Back at the creamery, the curds have been rested and are ready for the next stage. Ian Hatcher, who lives on one of Botton's other farms, comes in to help Alistair every day. Ian's lived here for the past nine years and he takes great pride in making the cheese. I enjoy it. It's fun and I enjoy pushing them into the moulds. Alistair's a very good teacher. <laughs> The curds are then milled and pressed into moulds by hand. Alistair likes to keep it fun by turning part of the process into a competition. Huh? Oh, nearly, nearly. To guess the exact weight. <laughs> you got too much in there, Ian. Oh, well. The curds are then stacked to allow the whey to drain away. There are also a number of craft workshops at Bottom that teach residents how to make things that they can sell to raise money for the community. The woodwork shop is a popular choice where villagers learn hands-on skills. They make all kinds of things, including wooden toys, that are exported as far as America. Finished cheddar wheels are stored to age and can take up to two years to mature. They need daily care, so Rob Rowland keeps them free of mold. My job is to clean the cheddars that are standing on these shelves. How I do it, salty water, uh, two cloths, one for cleaning the shelf with and one for cleaning the cheese with. 
It gets rid of the mould that forms all, all over the cheese eventually. I have had some, yes. It's very nice. <laughs> it's very nice cheese, thanks. Yes. It looks like Rob will be a busy fella. By tea time, everyone is hungry, which is just as well. There's plenty of great quality cheese on the menu. For creamery manager Alistair, community spirit is the key to Botton's success. Botton cheese means that it's been made with a lot of love and care, right through from the milking of the cows, right through to the way we, we try and handle the milk in the cheese vat, the, the whole production. Our passion does make the cheese taste different. Everybody's energy is in the cheese and the enthusiasm's there. It really makes a different cheese, which is one that's it's unique and tastes good. I'm delighted that our cheese producers, Ian, Robert, Alistair, have travelled down from Bottom Village to join me. Hello, Hello good morning. Hello, Paul. Alistair, I think you're doing a fantastic job. I think from these cheeses here, I think they look incredible, you know? I mean, I've been in uh, a lot of uh, cheese-making places. Um, I was impressed. We've got a great team. We've got a, a really good place to make in Botton Village. And yeah. we've, we've really focused on the um, trying to get out a really quality product in what we do. It's a credit to all the people that work there. So do you enjoy your role as well? Do you enjoy working on the farm? I do. Is it it's a, um, tiring. Is it a big long... Is it a long day? Yeah. Do you like the... Start at half past five in, in the, morning. the morning. Yeah. And then we finish at half six. Half six? Yeah. That's nearly 13 hours. That's a big day. Yeah. Do you have a big dinner afterwards? Not much. <laughs> they don't feed you either. Uh... So you wait 13 hours a day, no food. <laughs> I'm going to have to go up to this bottom farm, aren't I? I'm going to have to come up. <laughs> now, Rob, it looks very clean, the cheese, I must admit, from what I saw. Yes. Yes, I'm, I'm doing a really good job. I think it's uh, a really great, great thing to it's do. It's a fantastic thing, yeah, absolutely. Because yeah, now, you see, at, at the moment, I'm um, what cleaning some really difficult cheeses. Yeah. Because there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of mould? The mould at the moment on them. Yeah. And yeah. They're, they're taking a little bit longer than the other ones. <laughs> get a big brillo pants. <laughs> well, um, get it all off. So you've brought some a variety of different cheeses here as well. Now this one looks interesting. The brie, wow, that's ripe, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, the thing is about a brie, as far as I'm concerned, if you smell it and it smells like my socks, after I've been on a run, <laughs> like I run, <laughs> then you know that it's going to be a good brie. I mean, this one is so soft. Look at that. I, I did try and keep it in my socks last night, so. <laughs> <laughs> Just a... <laughs> get the, get the extra flavour. <laughs> He's a joker. Mmm. That's delicious. Is this popular? Yes. The, the brie is one of our, our popular cheese that we produce. Ooh. Actually, I've got a dish I think I might do with that one as well at a later date. When you're looking at this yeah. cheese here, yeah. this is your cheddar. Yes. Now, this is the one I want to use in my dish. Yeah. And I'm going to make a cheese, onion, and potato pie. Now, when I was a little kid, my dad used to own a bakery, and so I used to get out of bed at about half three in the morning. So you've got a massive lie in. And I'd, I'd work through, but only to about half one, so I'd, I'd be on 10 hours. I'd only eat half day. You'd still be cracking on. Um, <laughs> and I used to always eat these cheese and onion pasties, and they were flaky pastry, and this is where the idea came from for this. It was something which, when you get a melted cheese, and that looks as though it's going to melt beautifully. Yeah. It's got such a beautiful smell. Yes. Yeah. And I think what I'm going to do... I'm going to probably end up mashing down, mashing down the potato. And I've got some desires in there, which are, again, they, they're really fluffy potatoes. And then fold that in, into there. Yes. And that is, it should be a beautiful pie. I start with a short crust pastry, which is also full of that lovely cheddar. Sorry, Rob, I can't use that. No, no. But I can use the main bulk of cheese. Now, yes. what I'm going to start with is the pastry. Now, I've got some flour here, to which I'm going to add some cheeses. Now, I've got your cheddar cheese here, which is finely grated. And I've got some parmesan going in there as well. And add a little bit, just a little touch of seasoning. I'm using butter for flavour and lard to give the pastry a crisp bite. And I'm adding just enough water to bind it all together. Get it all into one bulk, one piece. Pop that on the bench. 
I've got some flour here and get my mucky hands in there. Coat it in a little bit of flour. Just work that dough to bring it together. You can feel the cheese in it, actually, which is not a problem because you want to see those grains when you put it on top of the pie. Now, that is about right. Now, that goes into the fridge just to chill down a little bit and it makes it easier to roll out. Now, I'll come back to that later. For the filling, pre-boil some desiree potatoes until they're light, fluffy and ready for mashing. Give it a bit of grief. Smash these. This is a great job there. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to have a go? Do you want to have a go? Have yeah, a go. you have a go. Yes, Rob. I'll have a, I'll have a break. I'll have a go. Right, Rob, just need to smash down those potatoes, all right? Yes. You've got more strength than I have. I'm going to need two hands. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Takes a bit of work, doesn't it? Yeah. Do you like potatoes? Oh, I love potatoes. I love potato, cheese and potato pie. So what's your favourite cheese? Oh, I would say uh, I like gouda and uh, I'll mm. taste tasted the cumin with gouda. Oh, yeah. Do you do that one as well? Cumin with gouda, don't, don't we, Alex? We, we, do. Yep. we do that as well, Paul. Wow. I'm going to have to try that. Where is it? It's here. That one. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's one of our milder sort of cheeses that we produce. That's reasonably young. It's very uh, creamy, isn't it? Quite, yeah. I mean, the, the, cream, the creaminess comes out. That's delicious. Yeah. I reckon that's finished, Paul. I reckon that's done, mate. I reckon that's Thanks very much indeed, Rob. Right. That saves me a job. Yes, I think that's, <laughs> that's just good enough. Then chop and add some chives. And this is your beautiful cheese. Now, I'm going to get my grater here. I'm going to grate quite a big chunk of this, actually, because I think it's going to go exceptionally well inside this pie. Now, here's all the cheese. I'm going to put that straight in there. Roughly chop and add the onion and a dash of milk. Give it a good mix and spread it out on a baking tray. Now, you need to flatten this off as much as you can. A little bit of seasoning, white pepper, a bit of salt. Finally, to go on top of that, you need to put your pastry. Now, once your pastry's been in the fridge, if you bring it straight out, it might be too hard. So just leave it to come back to ambient temperature just for about five, ten minutes. Then it becomes soft, and now you should be able to roll that out very easily. The beauty of this pastry is it's very, very short. So when you eat it, it crumbles, and it's because of the amount of cheese in there. So it's very difficult sometimes to roll out. Let me just put this over the top, like so. Once you've stretched it, just try and trim off the ends with your hands or a knife. Take it to the outside. Easiest thing to do is with your hand and then drop that down into the, into the pie on top of the mashed potato, like so. How do you do that, a short pastry? Sure. I'll show you exactly what short means. There's your pastry, right? Yeah. Now, in a dough, that would stretch. Yeah. But watch what happens with this. Ah, OK. It, just it breaks, means just it's breaks. short on gluten. It just breaks short. If that was a dough, you'd stretch that. Stretching. And that's all it is. Right. Then glaze the pastry with a beaten egg and it's ready to go in the oven at 200 degrees for 35 minutes. And then when you bring it out, you need to leave it to cool. Because I'd rather eat this warm than hot. And there you have it. You have your cheese, onion, potato pie with a beautiful cheese pastry lid. The crunchy short crust top is a perfect contrast to the smooth, cheesy potato filling. 